Wear. So oh, it's there. still a very viable degree out there, uh, and it is hot one out there right now. 91 in Greenville and Spartanburg, 94 for Abbeville and Greenwood. So it's a hot one for sure. Uh, typically, temperatures are in the mid 80s this time of year in the upstate. We're in the upper 80s even for Asheville and Hendersonville. Uh, first alert radar is clear locally. We've had a little shower north of Charlotte, but that's really been it. Um, we're going to continue to stay mostly dry into the next several hours. But tomorrow, we will have a few pop up storms possible, but we'll be at 80 by 9 o'clock tonight. Mostly clear temperatures in the 70s as we go toward 11 o'clock. 73 at 11 in the mountains, still holding on to the 80s around dinner time. For your wake up forecast, expect upper 60s to around 70 in the upstate, a 70 for Anderson, 68 for you in Forest City. Mostly sunny skies. In your hometown highs for tomorrow, not quite as hot as today, but close. Around 90 for Cross Anchor and uh, Blacksburg as well as uh, 88 in Chesney, 91 for Williamston, and 90 in Walhalla. We'll be looking at 80s and some 70s in Western North Carolina, 75 for Highlands, 79 over in Bryson City, and then 83 in Hendersonville. But then our next big thing will be that chance for pop-up storms. Now, the majority of your day will be dry tomorrow, but we will have a chance for rain late in the day. So notice Thursday, we start the day dry. We've got some energy moving in from the west. It's going to help to spark off late day showers as we go toward 4, 5, 6 o'clock. And you really see that holding on around 6. And then we go into the evening, and this is a brand new update from what we looked at earlier. Uh, most of it clears out, but there's still a chance a couple of heavy downpours could hold till late. And then Friday, we'll have a chance for a few more pop-ups. In fact, uh, late in the day, see those uh, showers and storms getting going. It's because the system's going to be stalled out, still helping us uh, produce a little bit more in the way of rain. This won't be everywhere. Now, of course, we are keeping an eye on the tropics and we got the brand new update. It is officially Hurricane Lee. As winds at 75 miles an hour. We talked about how that was very likely over the next uh, few hours and it happened right now. Uh, max gusts at 90. And this is a brand new track on the storm as it continues as a category four into Monday afternoon as it moves north of Hispaniola. So again, this is the first time I'm seeing this brand new track that just got loaded into our system. Very similar to what it was before and still the same expectation for it to become a major hurricane. So Hurricane Lee's computer models, notice how they agree for a while and then kind of split a little bit, but overall they all try to take that turn before it can make it to the United States. So right now we're not on high alert for this storm, but we are watching it. We're in watch mode um, and anything anything changes with the trends. We will let you know uh, with this hurricane. So Hurricane Lee will be well out in the Atlantic. We'll just be watching for afternoon storm chances. 30% chance. So no reason to cancel plans. Shouldn't interfere with high school football too bad, but know that there could be a storm or two out there uh, into Friday evening. And the next week we look mostly dry in the mountains. Looking at those afternoon storm chances, about a 40 percent each day, even into the weekend, unfortunately, and then next week will be a seasonably warm in the low 80s, Monday and Tuesday. Be sure to download